motherboard is main part of computer, so it is called backbone of computer. The motherboard is essentially a large printed circuit board, and the various lines you see are embedded copper tracks. These copper tracks are responsible for linking up the various parts and allow communication to take place between them. The computer's main circuit board is a thin plate that hosts the CPU, RAM, connectors for the hard drive, and optical drives, expansion cards for control the video and audio, and connections to your computer ports. It supplies communication between many of the crucial electronic components of a system, such as the CPU and RAM, and provides connectors for other peripherals. On motherboard, you can see the standard components like capacitors, resistors, and VRMs, which manage the electrical current. Briefly, motherboard supplies to connect all parts of a computer together. At first looking, the components of a motherboard can appear complicated. Now I will make clear the motherboard for beginners. We look at basic components of motherboard for this purpose. It is CPU circuit. The CPU circuit is the connector on the motherboard that houses a CPU and forms the electrical interface and contact with the CPU. Your motherboard circuit type dictates which type of CPU you can use. So the circuit and CPU should be paired together. There are memory slots. A memory slot allows the RAM to be inserted into the computer. Most motherboards have two for memory slots which determine the type of RAM used with the computer. For desktop computers, the most common type of RAM are SDRM and DDR, each having various types and speeds. DDR SDRM is packaged as an integrated chip module which includes the dual inline memory module. It is PCIe slot. PCIe is a standard type of connection for internal devices in a computer. The PCI Express interface allows high bandwidth communication between the motherboard and the devices like graphics cards, hard drives, solid state drives, Wi-Fi and internal hardware connection. PCIe slots come in different physical configurations X1, X4, X8, X16. The number after X tells you that how many PCIe slots has. There is SATA and M.2 port. SATA is standard hardware interface for connecting hard drives, solid state drives and optical drives to the computer. The communication between SATA port and devices provide via SATA cables. Although M.2 can use to attach solid state drives directly to the motherboard, this allows faster speeds than using SATA cables. Now we should look at the old time motherboard. Old time motherboard has chipset which are South Bridge and North Bridge. These two chips manage communication between the CPU and other components of the motherboard. North Bridge typically handles communication among the CPU, the RAM, PCI Express or Accelerate graphic board, integrated video controllers. North Bridge executes faster fa performance because of connected the most important components of motherboard. The SAT bridge is responsible for handling lower performing components such as PCI solids, SATA and ID connectors, USB ports, onboard audio and networking. While North Bridge is directly connected to CPU, the SAT bridge connects to the CPU via the North Bridge. As eventually CPU speeds increased and the controllers improved, but limitations of data transmission between the CPU and chipset couldn't improve enough, so this situation caused emerged a bottleneck. As a solution to the bottleneck at modern motherboard, North Bridge and South Bridge rearrange. The North Bridge moved to CPU and its functions are now eliminated completely. The memory controller and PCI Express lanes are now incorporated into the CPU. The South Bridge became redundant and it was replaced by the platform controller app architecture. The platform controller app controls certain data pays and support functions used in conjunction with the CPU. All SOAT bridge features and remaining input output functions are managed by the platform controller app. Some North Bridge functions, the memory controller and PCI Express lanes were integrated into the CPU while the platform controller app took over the remaining function in addition to the traditional roles of the SOAT bridge. 
PCI ports, the management engine, and display controller for integrated graphics are moved into the platform controller app. The input-output controller app function and system clock is integrated into the platform controller app, which is designed solving the eventual problematic performance bottleneck between the processor and the motherboard. Two different connections exist between the platform controller app and the CPU flexible display interface and direct media interface. The FDI is used only when the chipset requires supporting a processor with the integrated graphics. Platform Control Hub is directly connected to CPU with the direct media interface. There is some back panel connectors. These are for analog connections, dividing for digital connections with monitor. The PCI2 port is connector used for connecting keyboards and mice to a PC compatible computer system. HDMI is a connector and cable capable of transmitting high quality and high bandwidth streams of audio and video between devices. The HDMI technology is used with devices such as an HDTV projector, DVD player, or Blu-ray player. The LAN port connects directly to the computer's network adapter and it is this connection between network adapters or cable that forms a network. USB is universal serial bus that is standard for connecting computers and electronic devices. These USB connectors let you attach mice, printers and other accessories to your computer quickly and easily. Compared to other ways of connecting devices to your computer, USB devices are incredibly simple. There is many USB connector because of many devices use it, such as mice, keyboards, scanners, digital cameras, webcams, and joysticks. So there is many types and speeds of USB connectors. There is some audio port. Green audio port is for computer speakers or headphones. Pink audio port is for microphone. Blue audio port is for MP3 player, CD player, DVD player, etc. It is a heatsink. A heatsink is a thermal conductive metal device designed to absorb and disperse heat away from a high temperature object such as a computer processor. Usually, heatsinks are outfitted with built in fans to help keep both the CPU and the heatsink at an appropriate temperature. The motherboard form factor indicates the shape and the size specification of the board. The form factor also determines additional parameters such as the casing, power supply, mounting holes, and overall physical layout. The vast majority of today's consumer motherboards come in one of three sizes, ATX, Micro ATX, and Mini ITX. ATX is the most common design of motherboard for desktop computers. ATX the de facto standard and provides the most space for features and expansion. Mini-ITX allows for compact PCs that still have space for one graphics card, while Micro-ITX split the difference in both size and expansion. Mini-ITX commonly same as ITX. Mini-ITX just changed in size from ATX. Micro-ITX supports current and new processor technologies. Micro-ITX have high performance graphics, but Micro-ITX smaller in size and less power supply. Thank you for watching, please subscribe my channel and like my video. If you wonder anything, please make comment, I will try to help you. Lastly, I will put some motherboards below for recommending to you.